above my head and a vision of my door. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to episode four of this beautiful Striker Edition Toyota Tacoma that we picked up from Copark just a few short days ago. In the last video, you saw us wreck it right in the middle of the shop when the wheel run off and bent up our fender really, really bad. But you know what? That's no problem for us. We've got a hammer. We've got some tools. We're gonna to take this fender off. We're gonna bang it back out straight. We're gonna take the door off. We got a whole bunch of parts that we're gonna put in the booth. We're gonna paint this beautiful black on the Striker Edition Tacoma. Can't wait to get started. So that's enough talking. Well, let's get to work.
Alrighty guys, we've been working like a bunch of primitive cavemen on this Striker Edition Tacoma. It's coming together 100% perfect. We couldn't be happier with the way things are looking. Everything is just dialing right in. JP, he's been in the booth. He's been painting that stuff up. We painted both doors, the fender, the bumper, a bunch of little miscellaneous parts, just this and that and that and this. And everything is looking black and everything is looking clear coated. It's absolutely phenomenal. We just can't get enough of this truck. We love working on it so much. We might hang on to it just a tad bit longer just so we can work on it some more. But I do think we're about out of time this evening. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow in the morning when we put these doors and we put these fenders back on this truck. Okay guys, it is the next day here, and as you can see behind us is Striker Edition. She's sitting out here in the weather with no doors on, but we worked hard through the night last night. We got everything painted up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the door stuck on and maybe break the old door down and get a glass in because this thing sits outside and we don't want it raining in it because the truck's just too nice to get wet. So let's go ahead and pick up the doors, pick up the bumper, pick all our parts up, get them put up so they don't get skint and it don't get damaged let's hop to it and let's get it done So it is the next day here. It got a little bit dark on me there last night when we was putting those doors back on and putting the fender back on. Everything is looking really, really good. I wanna keep going. I wanna keep going with this momentum that we gained. We got this truck headed in the right direction. So I think what we'll do is we'll pull it in the shop, we'll lift it up and we'll put the new rack and pinion on and change out the suspension parts to kind of see how close our front end is gonna be. So I think that's what we need to do next. So that's enough talking. Let's get to work. So this is our bolt that holds the rack and pinion. We gotta have two of these because this one's bent. The other one I'm gonna have to cut out. So we're gonna have to go to town and see if we can find one. Alrighty, if you hadn't ever put one of these racks on the Tacoma, it's loads of fun. I would recommend just go ahead and go out and buy you one and put it on, whether you need it or not, just because it's so much fun. It's a fun time to just wrestle this thing out and get the metal stuck in your arm. Everything is fun. It's really good and we needed this rack and we got it now. So we went ahead and got the old one out and we got the brand new one here. And we got some brand new tie rod ends. I mean, these things, these things are from Turkey. So I hope they're good. I mean, Turkish, 
tie rod ends. You just can't beat it. I don't know where our rack came from, but something come from Amazon. I'm just excited that we're going back in with this rack. So what I did is I took it all the way to the one side. Hopefully I can just run it up in there and get that thing in. I think maybe I, I'll take it to the other side and just run it all the way through. And then I'm gonna leave these lines off because I got the old one out with the lines on, but it's just really, really tight. So we're gonna leave the lines off. I, I think I'll go ahead and just and run it. We'll just run it all the way to the driver's side. Because when I took the old one off, I, I took this inner tie rod end out. But I don't want to take our inner tie rod end out on our brand new rack. That's just, we're not doing that. So we're going to wrestle it around. We might have to pull the engine. I don't know. But we're going to get it put in there. We're going to wrestle it in. Get it all hooked back up. Get some power steering on this thing. And get some brakes on Ever since we've had this truck we've not been able to really drive it it's just a it's just a chaotic mess just trying to get it in and out of the shop we hadn't had any steer and any brakes to amount for anything at all so look what we got we got some drilled and slotted brake rotors for this thing i mean we got i hadn't even took them out of the box yet check these out came straight from the auto shack at ebay motors not that they gave us a discount or anything like that. Just if you want to pick you some up, they were pretty inexpensive. That thing looks really good. Look at it. Going to keep it cool. Going to keep it nice. We got new brake lines. Got new brake lines. That's a genuine Toyota part right there. Alrighty guys, we've been working like a pack of wild dogs on this truck today. Everything is coming together. We wrestle that new rack and pinion right in there. We got that hooked up 100%. We finally got power steering on this truck for the first time. 
for the first time we can drive it and we can stop it the only thing we didn't do is take it down the road because we got to get everything tight everything underneath there's you know we've had a bunch of stuff loose we want to make sure everything's tight we but we're really happy with where we're at with this truck right now but i think we ran out of time in this episode guys but you know what i think in the next one We'll try to put this front end back together and kind of see where everything is at on this truck. But if you like videos like this and you like the content, drop us a like. It really helps us out. We do appreciate each and every one of you stopping by and watching the video. You keep watching, we'll keep making them. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Real Orange Wires. We always post there before YouTube. We'll catch you next time in the Striker Design. We're out.